Brrrah! What's up my people, my name is Spicy and today I have 5 stories coming out of the subreddit I don't work here lady. As you know already, once we reach the 2500 subscribers mark, I would be giving away 4 Amazon gift cards of either $25 or $50. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel to stay tuned when the giveaway will happen. If you are having fun here, drop a fire emoji in the comments and like this video, it helps me grow the channel. Congratulations Ajime for the comment of the day. Brrrah. Press the button. Years ago, I work on the top floor of a large county courthouse. One day, coming back from break, I got on the elevator and immediately moved to the back because they get crowded pretty quickly. And I will be last getting off. That day, only one other person got on the elevator. A big man in expensive attire. Ya yeah, know the type. Three-piece suit, gold cufflinks, Rolex. He calls out fourth floor. I standing behind the guy while he is right in front of the button box, so I just keep minding my own business. Then he stiffens up, barks out fourth floor. I contemplated that this hotshot expects me to walk around him and push the button like I am an elevator operator in some 1940s department store. I gently say, Sure, the elevator is not voice operated, you have to push the button, but I was too chicken to add the button that is 6 inches from your hand. Courthouses are pretty egalitarian places in my experience, and it was a bit of a culture shock to encounter some uptown lawyer who was used to having peons push buttons for him. Old couple and iPhones. I was wandering around my local big name bookstore between shifts, as I normally do to browse what books I want to read next. It must have been an honest day or something because on the two floors of the store, I saw maybe one regular employee and multiple important looking people with clipboards walking around. I had been there for about 15 minutes and had passed by every customer in there a few times when I decided on a book and went to search for somebody to ring me up. As I am making my way across the store to the only open register, a small voice wafted over to me. Excuse me miss, I turned to face a cute old couple obviously lost as can be. Could you point us in the direction of the books that tell you how to use an iPhone? Being the chronic regular I am, I brought them over and they grabbed a book and walked off. I finally found an actual employee to ring me up. But lo and behold, this cute couple had went to the queue already. They proceeded to tell the employee how helpful I was, as an old people sometimes do. I needed a raise. I never even considered they thought I was an employee and tried to explain I shop there way too often. They found it quite funny that I was not actually an employee and helped them anyways, telling me I really did not need to do that. In the end, they insisted they buy me my book for my troubles and that's how I got a free book for being a pseudo employee. A midwinter night's tale. We don't work here, lady. This just happened a couple of days ago. The polar vortex is upon us. My friend, who is staying with me right now, as a coupon for dinner, but it is not available on delivery orders. After some discussion, we decided to drive to the nearest restaurant to pick up an order to bring home. As I had another coupon for a free item, we split up our orders. She places hers first, then I do. My friend sits back in a lounging sofa to wait. She is fully dressed in her winter gear, surfing Facebook on her phone. I take the opportunity to use our estimated 15 minute wait to use the restroom. There is a set of doors between the takeout counter and the dining room. The restrooms are just inside these doors. During my absence, impatient girl, IB, enters the outer room and stands in front of my friend. Friend looks up at the girl and the girl's sight and gestures to the counter, saying, are you going to take my order or what? My friend replies with, I don't work here? She is confused how her appearance indicates that she would work there. This is when I re-enter the scene. I have exited the restroom and I am about to walk out the dining room doors. While zipping up my winter coat, I see the girl stomping towards me purposefully, so I step aside to let her through the doors. She stops right in the doorway and barks at me. I want to order. This subreddit flashes across my mind. My friend, who is behind the girl, looks dumbfounded, but I am not caught stupefied by her ignorance. 
I shrug and say, I don't work here, lady, as my zipper reaches the top and I step around her. The girl looks like she's about to have an aneurysm. In what amounts to perfect timing, the lady who does work there appears with our bags of food. Fran and I approach the counter, and the girl jumps in front and starts barking out her order. The employee, bless her, gives no F. She didn't care. She did not even care about the minimum order amount for the coupons. She's not there to care. It is freezing outside and she is stuck at work. She stares down at the girl while reaching under the counter. As slowly as humanly possible, she counts out equal amounts of ketchup packets, plastic cutlery, napkins and those little packets of whipped butter into each of our bags, then slowly ties the bag shut, her eyes never leaving the girl, who at this point is flustered and has shut up, but is just glaring at Fran and me. The employee ends us our food, and Fran and I are stifling laughter at this point, and winks at me. We gave her a big old thumbs up and we left. The soup and chicken dinner were delicious. The employee did not believe me. At my old job, being a caregiver to older people, our uniform was a navy blue polo that has the facility's name embroidered on it in pretty bright white thread on the left side of our chest, with either khakis or black pants. I do not shop at Walmart very often, but every now and again I will get people asking me where something is. I never had a customer not believe me that I did not work there. One night, at around 10pm or so, I went in after work, gathered up the things I had gone in there for and had gone up to pay. I put my things up on the counter and went over to face the cashier that was checking me out. She looked at me and said, you must be new, I don't think I've met you yet, what shift are you working? I just stared at her and said, I have never met you before, I don't work here. You're you're wearing the uniform, but you don't work here? She said. I looked down at the bright white embroidery embezzled on the left side of my chest. No, I work as a caregiver at blah blah blah. She just could not believe that another place had a uniform similar to Walmart's. She had to have asked me a couple of more times before she just shook her head in disbelief and finished checking me out. I kind of like to think that she's still wandering around that Walmart, wondering where I am. My people, I have something quick to say. If you are new or you've been following me for a while, I put a lot of time into this channel and I try my best to make better content, not follow the boring type of videos. I want to improve the videos and put out quality content, but this, it takes time and money on my part and you happen to get it for free, which is totally fine and I am very supportive of this model, I like it. And this is why if you want to see me grow even more and you like what I do here, I encourage you to leave a like on this video comment down a fire emoji in the comments, you know what to do, and subscribe to the channel to get more rated stories videos. Okay, back to the story. I am her manager, but... So this happened about a week ago and my colleague told me I should post it here because she thought you would find it funny. I hope you're happy, NK. I was not aware of the subreddit, so I made an account in order to do so. Sorry if I get anything wrong. I work at a white collar job and have small group of employees who report to me. One of my direct reports, I will call her NK, and I had a meeting with a prospective client at their office. Since our conference room smells like feet for some reason, and we were coming back from the meeting when we decided to stop in the coffee shop across the street from the office to compare notes. The place was crowded, so we found a two person high top in a corner, ordered two cups of coffee, and pulled out our laptops. After a while, we were done with our coffee and NK had to use the restroom, so she offered to bring up our mugs and get us another cup. I said that was fine, but to get them to go since I didn't think we'd be there too much longer. I should probably mention that I am dressed in a navy blue suit with a tie and NK is wearing black pants and dark grey top and heels. She leaves with mugs in hand and I start dealing with emails that I have coming in. The cafe is still busy and the two baristas behind the counter are busy taking orders and getting people's drinks. I zoned out for a bit while answering emails but was suddenly brought back to reality when I noticed that someone is standing right next to me. When I look up, I see a woman who has been described as looking like a Karen on this subreddit. Late 40s, that haircut, horrible taste in clothes, and NK was standing behind her looking exasperated. Then the following conversation took place. Here he is. You're her manager? Uh, I'm sorry? Are you her boss? I still have no idea what's going on. Sure, we're usually referred to as a team leader. Whatever, I want her written up. We needed our table whipped down and she ignored me 
three times. I've never had an experience where a server has looked right at me and then just completely ignore me. Don't you have any pride in your customer service? I look behind her to NK who is rolling her eyes as Karen speaks. When I look back to the table Karen gestured to, I see an older gentleman who is quietly sipping his coffee across from a giant handbag. At this point, things start to click for me. NK walked up to the counter, dropped off the mugs, then went to the restroom, after which she went back to the counter to order our second cup. Karen must have thought that she worked there since she was wearing darker colors, which is the standard uniform for a certain chain of coffee shops. However, this was not that coffee shop, and NK's clothes were obviously nice. Go meet an important client type of clothes. And I don't know many baristas who wear eels on the job. Well, we do value customer service, but cleaning tables is not exactly her job. As a gesture towards the table with laptops and reports laid on it. If you want someone to help you, you can ask someone behind the counter. Uh, she does not work here? No, we work at this company company across the street. Well, it is still rude to ignore people. Me having had enough at this point. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but we were in the middle of something. If you would like to discuss it further, you can email me here. I hand her my business card with an impressive but ultimately useless director title on it. Karen hesitated a bit longer as I make direct eye contact with her, before turning away in a huff and heading back to what I am assuming was her husband. Poor guy. NK sets the coffees down and apologizes, which was unnecessary, but said that the woman grabbed her by the arm, almost spilling the coffee and simply refused to believe that she did not work there. So when she asked to see her manager, NK thought, fine, let's go. We were there for a few more minutes before we decided to pack up. As we were leaving, I looked over to Karen's table to see her giving us a death stare. I waved. She quickly looked away. Never did get an email about it. Before I let you go away from the heat that you just received, I want to thank you for watching my videos. Thank you, you for liking the video, for commenting, for subscribing and even for those who shares the videos. This really helped me a lot and I appreciate what you do for me. All of our efforts will ultimately allow me to make better videos for you. I have a ton of ideas but without support I can get to this point. So I wish you all a beautiful day and I hope that you are doing your best to reach your dreams. Live a fulfilled life, have fun and love the people around you.